Hello and welcome to my channel. This is a scarf for you guys, the beginners. You can't screw this up. It's just impossible. So this stitch has only one row repeat. This will be the, the perfect project for those of you that are beginners. You're going to need some yarn. 240, maybe 260 grams of yarn. Yeah. So this uh, this yarn recommends that I should use 8 slash 0, which is 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. I'm going to go with a 6.0 millimeter crochet hook. The scarf that I did, and I'm going to show you at the end the, the scarf, I chain 150 chains. It's just a small scarf. Yeah. It's long as uh, 1 meter and uh, 20 centimeters, and it's wide as 12 centimeters. If you want longer, you're going to have to chain more. For this, you're going to need, for this scarf, you're going to need some yarn, you're going to need a pair of scissors, and a crochet hook. This stitch, if your yarn is a little bit uh, stiff, it's not soft, use a bigger crochet hook, at least a number or two numbers bigger. Yeah? For the scarf that I did as a sample, I used two numbers bigger. I went with a 7.0 millimeter crochet hook, and you're gonna see how elastic it's the, the stitch, the, the scarf. Yeah. Okay, so 240 grams of yarn, crochet hook, and a pair of scissors. This one, this stitch, it's very easy, goes really fast, and if you sit, uh, well, even as a beginner, in uh, maybe three, four hours, you can finish uh, the scarf. Yeah? Okay, this stitch works with even numbers. So you're going to start with the knot. I put the, the yarn, I put the, the crochet hook like this, then I give it a twist, and then I hook the yarn, and I bring the yarn through this loop, and then give it a tag, you're going to have a knot. So now we start. When you chain, chain a little bit loose, that, well, not that loose, because it's easy to, to go through the bump, because we're going to work this through the bump. For this scarf, the way it looks, you're going to have to chain a very long chain, between 220 chains or 240 chains. Depends, not everybody is tall, yeah? If you are shorter, then let's say I am 1 meter and 78 centimeters. I'm tall, I cannot put 220, it's too short for me. So I go with 240 chains for example. But you're going to have to put a long chain. So when you cast the chains, you put the chain on you and see it's long enough. Should I add more? Yeah. Okay, so this uh, stitch works with even numbers. Let's uh, make a short uh, chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine let's go with the ten but your chain is gonna be long depends for whom you you're making this if it's a child maybe 150 it's enough yeah if it's an adult and it's taller maybe 240 250 depends yeah okay now we're gonna work on the back of the the chain this is the front this is how the this is the front of the chain and to work in the back we're gonna flip this and this is the back so you're going to see the, the bumps, yeah? So the bump has only one strain of yarn. We're going to skip the first chain and into the second chain from the hook. Flip your chain and through the bump. And the first one might be a little bit difficult to get in. Just pick it up, yeah? Like this. And insert your crochet hook. Pull up a loop. You have two loops. Pull the yarn through the two loops. This is a single crochet. Now we're going to move to the next chain and we're going to do the same through the bump, which has only one strain of yarn. Pull up a loop, pass the yarn to the two loops, move to the next chain, and so on. You're going to do in each chain a single crochet. And because it's a long chain, this, this will be the long side of the scarf and it's going to be quite straight and nice, clean cut. Yeah. So in each chain we're gonna do single crochet. So you see the, the bumps. You move to the next chain, through the bump, single crochet. 
last chain we're gonna go through the bump yeah, and single crochet chain one turn your work you're always gonna chain one so now the first stitch it's here we're gonna do a single crochet normal single crochet you're gonna go underneath the stitch and you should have the two V's yeah the V here the two loops so we're gonna do a single crochet now from this moment forward until we reach the last stitch we're gonna work only through the back loop so the stitch is like a V so that's one the second the third so you see the the V's yeah that is one stitch so the front loop is here right here and the back loop it's this one this one yeah so you're gonna go through the back loop so yarn over the hook go through the back loop you see so these are the back loops I know it might be annoying for those of you that you're advanced but for beginners they need this so this is a half double crochet pick the yarn and pull the yarn through the three loops now into the next stitch through the back loop slip stitch so pull up a loop and you're gonna get this loop through this now yarn over the hook move to the next stitch through the back loop pull up a loop you have three loops pull the yarn through all these three loops next stitch through the back loop slip stitch so you're gonna get this loop through this one and sometimes depends on your tension you might lose that you're gonna go back so yarn over the hook next stitch through the back loop half double crochet next stitch through the back loop slip stitch so bring this loop through this one okay yarn over the hook next stitch through the back loop half double crochet pull the yarn through all those three loops and at the end we're gonna do a single crochet like normal so you're gonna go underneath the stitch and you should have the V the two loops pick up a loop then bring the yarn through these two loops <coughs> so we start with the single crochet in the first stitch and we're gonna finish with a single crochet into the last stitch now chain one turn your work and we're gonna repeat first stitch single crochet yarn over the hook we're gonna move to the next stitch through the back loop see? so this is what you're gonna do back loops until you reach the last stitch yeah pull up a loop three loops pull the yarn through all those three loops next stitch through the back loop slip stitch bring this through that loop yarn over the hook move to the next stitch and you're gonna do a half double crochet through that back loop next stitch through the back loop we're gonna do a slip stitch yarn over the hook move to the next stitch so what you're gonna do each time if you put your work down because it's a I don't know the phone rings or you have to do something else and you return to the work remember that the half double crochet you're gonna do on top of the half double crochet from the previous row and the slip stitch you're gonna do into the slip stitch from the previous row the stitches yeah so get familiar with how a half double crochet looks or a slip stitch how it looks next stitch slip stitch through the back loop yarn over the hook move to the next stitch which is the half double crochet through the back loop half double crochet and the last stitch we're gonna go through the stitch like normal we have the V there and do a single crochet you're gonna chain one and you're gonna repeat single crochet into the first and then half double crochet through the back loop until all back loops until you reach the last stitch right here and it's a single crochet through the 
stitch. Yeah? So you're going to alternate. Half double crochet, slip stitch, half double crochet, and so on. Let's say you want to finish, and I suggest if you do a scarf, because we started with a single crochet in the in each chain, we're going to finish with a single crochet, the last row before you close the work. So what you're going to do, like always, you're going to chain one, turn your work, and into the first stitch, you're going to do a single crochet. Next stitch, single crochet. Next stitch, single crochet, and you're going to do like this in each stitch, single crochet. In each stitch. And you're going to have a nice uh, clean cut, at least the long side. The last stitch is here. We're going to go in there and do a single crochet. You're going to chain one pull up a loop and then you're going to take the scissors, cut the yarn and then you're going to hide the tail and your scarf is done. Now I'm going to show you the, the scarf, the sample that I did. So it looks like uh, like this. It's very easy. So this is a small uh, sample, 150 chains. So you have the long side, so when you chain, I chain 150 chain, uh, chains for this. So for an adult size, you're going to chain maybe 220, 240 or maybe more. Now, how wide you want, because you're going to build uh, how, wild, uh, how wide it is, depends. This has 12 centimeters across, 12 centimeters. If you want wider, then you're going to do more rows. Yeah. Depends on you, on and depends on your yarn size because you might have less. If it's a very thick yarn, you might have less uh, rows than I uh, than I have. Yeah, but the side, it's quite straight. So when you put the scarf on you, it's gonna be like this. So, these are quite straight, the sides. Yeah, and the stitch is reversible. Front and back is the same. You can do this with a thinner yarn. It might take some time, but if you use 4.0, 4.5, 5.0, it might uh, go faster. Yeah. So this uh, scarf, the sample, I did with a 7.0 millimeter crochet hook. So I went two numbers bigger, and uh, look, it's elastic. Yeah, because this yarn, it's not, uh, it's kind of hard. It's acrylic. It's hard. So if you don't want to go with a bigger crochet hook, then uh, use a soft yarn, yeah, and that's gonna be quite nice. So the kind of molds on you. If it's too stern, too stiff, the the yarn, it's not so pleasant unless you want to make a rug. That's perfect. This stitch, yeah. So those of you that are beginners, give it a try. You might enjoy this uh, this stitch for your first project. And in here you can put uh, tassels. So you put in the corner here, fringes, tassels, then you move to this. You see these openings here. And you can attach the, it's easy, you just attach the tassels. It's so easy. You don't need to skip stitches and you hide the edge. Yeah. Because if you are to chain with this stitch 20, 22, 24, what you have here on the long side Instead of having this, you're going to have this. If some of you you like, go ahead. But the stitch, if you are to chain 20, 22, 24, it's going to look like this. So imagine this long. If you like this, do it like that. It doesn't matter. But this is going to be on the long side when you put it on you. Well, I hope it was helpful. And some many of you, you like this, uh, this stitch. Give it a try. You can do so many things with this as a beginner. You can do a hat, you can do a, a vest, for example, I don't know, maybe for a beginner it's, maybe, if some of you are really motivated, you can do that. But you can do a blanket, and it's quite thick, yeah. So give it a try, hope many of you, you will uh, 
enjoy this uh, this stitch thank you for watching have a good day bye bye